Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Keep. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. The little word keep. It's Oculi Sunday. My eyes are ever on the Lord Sunday. Um, and the Lord, uh, the gospel lesson has us with uh, Jesus arguing with the Jews, and a lady calls from the cried crowd, Blessed is your mother who nursed you. And he says, No. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Now, our ears hear the word keep generally anywhere it appears and think to our things and think, you know, this is something like obey, um, like um, Matthew 28. Uh, Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to hold to to keep everything I've commanded. The word keep in English is the Greek word tereo in the Gospels or philoso in the Gospels. Both of them mean the same thing. Tereo and philoso means to, mean to guard. Philoso, phalanx, you know the um, group of individuals, uh, the soldiers, who would lock their shields together and create almost like a turtle, a phalanx, in Greek warfare. Um, philoso means to to guard. It can also mean uh, but you guard something that's important. You keep it Old English. Sort of like those buildings that would be um, would keeps. So it's not so much obey, it's the word keep, as in to hold dear, to, um, to cherish. And so it's not the one who obeys the word, but the one who hears the word and believes the words and holds that word dear, who treasures the word of God and read marks and inwardly digests it, who lives um, with more word, more Jesus, more forgiveness, more love, more mercy from God, who takes the Lord's words um, and uh, dwells upon them reads and marks them and inwardly digests them and takes them to heart. So the Lord's command is that you guard the word, that it be important to you, that you put it on the doorposts of your heart and, and cherish that word for that word. The external word of the gospel saves. We do not save ourselves. We do not fix our situation by our keeping of the law. In fact, if we could keep the law perfectly, there would be no reason for Jesus. He comes to keep the law for us, to obey the law, so that his obeying of the law might count for us and our lack of obedience. That salvation does us no good. What he earned for us on the cross does us no good unless it's delivered to us, and it's delivered to us in the external word of the gospel. That word, that um, implanted word, as St. James says, is capable of saving us. And so faith grasps hold of that word, cherishes it, protects it, and guards it. It keeps the word of God. And that is what is most blessed. Not Jesus' mother or whoever, or, or, the, or, the, or the lady who nursed him, but those who hear his word and believe his word and take comfort that their sins are truly forgiven by Christ's death on the cross. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and philoso it, keep it, tereo, cherish it, and hold it dear. I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this has been another Higher Things video short.